It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello and welcome to the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And folks, you can feel the fierceness, the intensity of this series setting the tone prior to Game 3. Tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors as they play against the Sacramento Kings in their house, Sleep Train Arena. And guys, for the Kings, tonight a chance to press their advantage after an impressive road win in Game 2. They're approaching this one with a lot of confidence. They've really seized the reins in this series, winning the first two on the road, now a chance to take a commanding 3 nothing lead on their home floor, Shaq. You know, they smell blood. They got the foot on the neck of the opponent. You win this one, Ernie, the series is over. All the momentum, everything is going in their favor right now, but they got to complete this game tonight. This is where you go for the jugular. I mean, this is where you can't let up. But facing a team in desper desperation mode, you still got to be prepared to have a great effort against playing against you. Because if you fall down 3 nothing in the series, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Wrap. R.A.P. No Go team home. has ever come back. And you're you might right. as well W.R.A.P. and wrap it up and send it somewhere else because you're going home. I like the way you're rapping, brother. No doubt. All valid points. Here's Kevin Harlan. that far off the mark. Here's Fox. Gay outside. Cousins with a screen on top. Gay kicks to Cousins. Pass to Fox. They find Jay on the way. No up. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. Man, that was a stinker. I mean, that's one of those games where you really can't find anything that they did well. The game just got out of hand and really just a shaky performance across the board. Yeah, and I'd have to agree with you. And you know how optimistic and positive I am. But it's hard for me to find anything positive to take away from that. That's a game you just want to forget about as soon as you can. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Shot clock at five. The drive by Gay. A pass to Fox. All sorts of time. And he needs the jump. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Outside Curry. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Here is Boomer, headed by Green. Cousins against Bogut. From 17 feet out, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's on Andrew Bogut. The Kings shoot their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Two shots. now take a break take a break two shots and 
and that one falls for DeMarcus Cousins. So DeMarcus Cousins nails both of them. Stolen by Gain. Pass to Fox. Back to Gay. Jacks up a three. Green with the rebound. Warriors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Curry attacking. Nobody here, Barnes. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Up top, Burks. He's covered by Thompson. Outside, Green. And stolen by Cousins. And even three on three break. There's the feed to Burks. Fox against Curry. Here's the pass to Bruno. Pocket six. From 12 feet out. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Boomer's got his first bucket in this one. Warriors trail by three. Outside curve. And he banks in the lane. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Here's Fox. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Cousins against Bogut. 17 foot shot on the way. Boomer, and he goes strong with the one handed jam. And, and putting in the work on the boards, and, and it's paying off. With chances like that. Gee, he does put the work. You're right. It's why he's on the finishing end of one put back slam after another. Well, his effort has never been a question mark. He is an incredibly self motivated player. Here's Fox following the basket by Stephen Kirk. Fox passes to Gale. Thompson dishes to Green. Green, the screen, feeds it to Barnes, beyond the arc, and another three for Golden State. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Fox kicks to Burks. This is it to Boone. Screen by Cousins to the left side wing. Here's Fox. And it's off from three-point range. The Warriors leader. Curry passes to Barnes. Fox against Curry. Second chain shot. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right here. Or settle for making him earn the free throw. And he's got his first free throw of the game. All right now. Take break. Take break. Two seconds. And he makes the first. Just call him all the match. He doesn't miss many of those. Here's Fox. The dish to Burks. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. Well, that's a collection of assassins you see on your screen right there. Just deadly. 
They were the most accurate shooting guards in the regular season. Fourth, Clay Thompson. You know, just to ask this group, sometimes when you're hot, you're hot. And it's a comforting feeling for a coach to know you've got one of those guys roaming on the perimeter. And not only can they light it up from the perimeter, Greg, but they get their buckets getting to the rim as well. I mean, aggressive moves to the basket are always going to help your shooting percentage. you got to get some easy ones to shoot a high percentage. Here's Fox. Harrison Barnes picking up that last basket. Fox kicks to Cousins. To the wing on the left. Screen by Cousins. Looking to end the run. And an air ball on that one. Way off. Warriors leading by six. And the foul on Alec Brooks. That is his first foul of the game. Brewer has checked in for Burks. Golden State also making some changes. Azili comes in for Andrew Bogut. And it's Iguodala in for Barnes. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Well, Steve Kerr had a few moments to share with me. He told me they can't dwell on the first two games. However, even though the series may have a long way to go, he did use the term, quote, must win when describing this game. With no room for error, He's probably right. This series is over if they don't win it tonight, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. <laughs> on its way from Curry for two. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Curry's got eight. Couldn't run the inbound play any better than right there. Fox passes to Gay. Cousins dishes to Brewer. Kicks it to Gay. A jump hook. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Gay's got his first two points of the night. Warriors leading by six. Here's Curry. Sacramento grabs the miss. Game with it on the wing group. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. And Cousins kicks the group. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Now it's just a three-point warrior lead. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So it's a white. Curry against Fox. From the wing. Sacramento grabs the miss. Boomer's got three rebounds so far in the game. To the inside. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. For Sacramento, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Sacramento making some changes. Brandon Bass is checked in for Boomer. And it's Butler in for Rudy Gay. Thompson, he's checked in for Golden State. Livingston comes in for Steph Curry. That one drops. He ties it up. Here is Livingston. Thompson outside. He feeds it to Livingston. He dishes it to Azili. Down to five on the shot clock. There's a good screen. Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. And sometimes he can hit that deep three, but it's not a high percentage shot for him. Yeah, even for him, that's out of his range. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And here's Iguodala outside. That's good. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. The Kings trail by three. Here's Fox. To the middle. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Thompson. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's on Karan Button. And let's quickly 
to check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Well, I tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turner. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Pachulia comes in for DeMarcus Cousins. And Stockton subbed in for Fox. And he's good on the second. The Kings trailing. Now here's Stockton. Dishes to Bass. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If the shot isn't there, they're not forcing. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one. And here is Livingston. Sacramento making their last shot. There's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Thompson for three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Looked like he was channeling Bob Cousy right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble like that? Stockton outside. He kicks the butler. Pass to Pachulia. Here's Brewer. Kept alive. Another shot. Pachulia. Pachulia's got his first points of the game. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebound. He's got to be relentless. Here is Livingston. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the score. Thompson passes to Livingston. No good. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Stockton dishes to Brewer. Pass to Banks. From eight. He goes up again, and the layup is up and in. And that's put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Timeout called the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And so it's Golden State with it. The Kings getting the buck. It's deflected. Stockton against the Goodell. Stockton kicks to Brewer. Pass against Thompson. Pass can't get it to go. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Shot, no good. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Here is Livingston after the Kings pick up two. The feed now to Azili. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Sacramento's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Six second difference between the shot and game plan. There's the pick. And here is Brewer on the pass to Pachulia. Butler with the ball, picked up by Thompson. Shots good from Butler. Butler's got himself on the board with three there. Flies back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way.
Here's Livingston. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. And that's a big bonus for him to end the quarter as he just beats the buzzer. That's superb clock management there, maximizing every second of the clock in that situation. Well done. It's all tied in Sacramento. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his comfort stretching the floor. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. I mean, he is just an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, the, the I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter ever. And, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this Splash brother to let her rip. <laughs> And we're set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. And let's quickly break down the game we've been watching for the Kings, guys. You can tell the point of emphasis has been to get to the offensive glass. Yep, and they've set the tone here early with the hustle they've come out with. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for Sacramento. Fox is out there with Alec Burks. And it's Boomer. Then there's Kufus. And it's Gay in at the three Blue shot. Blue shot. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. Golden State's gone four six from outside the arc tonight. Curry passes to Iguodala, feeds to Bogut. Outside Curry. Green with a screen for Curry, passes it to Green. Back to Curry. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Gay. The Kings leading. The dish to Kufus. Puts up the baby hook. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And the Kings lead by four. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the back. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Brings the three while he's being fouled, and he might be able to make this a four-point play. That's a huge play there, Kevin. The trade and the foul. Not what the defense had in mind there. The Warriors shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. One shot. One shot. Well, it's been a good game tonight for Barnes. Nine points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd like to get a few more of those out of him. Curry against Fox. Pass to Boone. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. And so it's Golden State with it after the Kings pick up two. And he gets it to go. Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Gay in the corner, and there's the pass to Boone. Gay with it, put it now by Barnes. Gay against Barnes. Just five to shoot. And again, it's Sacramento converting. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's it all outside. In by 
Bogut. Iguodala dishes to Curry. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. And that's 13 points for Steph Curry. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. There's a good screen. Passes it to Bruno. Kicks to Burks. A pass to Fox. Five to shoot. And it's sent back by Bogut. On the wing, it's Iguodala. Burks covering. Iguodala gets to Kirk. Stolen by Gay. All alone. Finishes the pick with a slam. But this tug of war game continues. You know what? And they just keep flip flopping the lead again and again and again. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Now here's Curry. He's got 13. Shoots from the high post. And the shot is good. Popping in off the front of the rim. And that's 11 points for Barnes. For Sacramento, they've gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. Put that bucket in in no time at all. And the Kings lead by two. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. they got to get more intense. Green with a screen on Fox. Out left of the wing. A three from Barnes. Kicks it out to Iguodala. There's the three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Now Gay. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And it's a four-point Kings lead. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Now here's Curry. Green with a screen on Fox. Curry passes to Green to the inside. Bogus. Cooper's with the block. Here's Fox. He's got seven. Pass to Boone. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. He and it goes seven. on Draymond Green. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for the Kings. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard right, on the offensive Take glass. A break. Take they've a break. had a number of putbacks. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've, um, they've made them all, taking full advantage at the line. <laughs> I tell you what, nice job making the most of their opportunities. Sacramento making a switch here. Cousins is checked in. And Golden State also making a change. Clay Thompson is checked in for Andre Iguodala. Now here's Curry. 13 points in the game. Goes up from the top of the key. And again, no good by Golden State. Kings leading now by five. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Bogut kicks to Barnes. There's a screen. He feeds it to Thompson. Can't capitalize on the good pick. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication there. The pass to Fox. Four on the shot clock. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Warriors trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find some, you're right. Offensive rebound, back to Curry. Curry with another miss. Here's Sacramento. They're on a 10-2 run here. Burks dishes the Cousins. Nobody near game. Good, and it's Cousins picking up the assist. And it's nine points for Rudy Gay.
timeout called the Warriors. Yeah, too many easy buckets coming from inside, and I think he wants to make that a point of emphasis. I would certainly think so. I mean, if they keep giving up those kinds of easy looks inside, they'll be in big trouble. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Kevin. Steve Kerr was just going over the plan with his team. He wants them running a disciplined, organized offense with an emphasis on setting screens and creating open shots on the floor for their shooters. He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them... Thanks again, Doris. Here's Fox. He's got seven. He dishes it to Banks. Tries from the block. Iman Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. They set the pick. Livingston passes to Thompson. This is to Azili. Green with a screen on Cousins. Azili kicks to Thompson. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Thompson's got six. Kings leading now by eight. Here's Fox. He kicks it to Cousins. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Let's bring out the 2K leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. In third, the Warriors. And, and what a fun team to watch all season long. That up-tempo style. I mean, you've got to love them as a run-and-gun team. That's who they are, and that's going to be right, important now, in terms shot. of their push here Loose in the postseason. Cousins. The Kings making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Jason Thompson is checked in for the Warriors. And Cousins drops them both. Warriors trail by 10. Here is Livingston. Thompson is screen on Fox. Livingston kicks to Thompson. He had stolen by Bass. And they're pushing it up. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful team. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. I tell you what, it's the love to go up and jam like that. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Thompson against Fox. There's the feed to Cousins. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Boy, that's his second foul, and he does not want to pick up number three here. That'll mess your game up for sure. Here's Fox. Seven points in the game. Outside Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. Latrey. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his third rebound on the night. Latrey. To the right side. Livingston dishes to Barnes. shot opportunity and the layup is up and in. Barnes has got it back down to within single digits for the Warriors. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is can they ride him and get back into it? Here's the screen. Feeds it to Banks. Yeah. 
And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Julia, he's checked in for the Kings. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Warriors trail by eight. Here's Livingston to the inside. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Major League big boy throwdown right there. And he keeps a tight grip on that rim after the finish. Yeah, maybe that'll give them a little bit of that swagger that they seem to have lost. Now, here's Brewer. Butler passes to Brewer. Thompson with the rebound. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Here is Livingston. They trail by six. Now the dish to Thompson. Thompson outside. Again, the miss by Thompson. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Here's Fox. He has seven. On the wing, Brewer. Pass to Pachula. Time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Kings have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. At the bottom of two. Shooting two. Shooting two. First one drops. And Petrulia drops them both. Warriors trail by eight. One forty six left in the first half. Here's Livingston. The pit gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. Livingston's got his second basket of the game. Thompson against Fox. Kicks it to Pachulia. Pass up top. Six to shoot. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Left in the second quarter. A three from Barnes. Rebound by Karan, but Kings leading now by six. A pass to Fox. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. Well, close to picking that one off. Still a nice play to make sure that pass didn't reach its target. Andre Igudawa is checked in for Harrison Barnes. to Fox. He feeds it to Butler. A fader. Count that one. Butler's got his second bucket of the night. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. David Allen gets to his healing. The 
Warriors shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. All right now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Good on that. Kubis checked in for Brandon Banks. He's off on the second. This is part of the reason that they're down. They're really having trouble at the line. Fox. No good. And Golden State will come the other way. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Livingston dishes to Azili. Thompson passes to Igudal. The foul called on Festus Azili. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. There's 14 seconds left in the first half of the game. Fox gets to Brewer. Here's Fox. Launches a three, and he gets the bucket. Fox has got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Sacramento. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. And that concludes the first half. Kings lead by 11. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Well, Karan, just a quick question before you head off to the locker room. What's the key strategy in a game like tonight's facing this type of team? I mean, you know, you just got to protect the paint. You know, they got you know, great guys that's you know, all the perimeter knocking down shots. So, you know, run them off the shots and, you know, make them into uh, facilitators and playmakers. You guys certainly accomplished that, Karan. Thank you so much. Over to you guys. Thank you so much, Doris. Great interview as always. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back with the second half of basketball shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you for joining us live inside this sold-out arena. We are rocking and rolling. And guys, for the Kings, they've played exactly like they'd expected to, given the first two games. They're just one half away from taking what would almost certainly become an insurmountable three games to none lead in the series. Shaq, how did you think the Kings were playing? They had a focus to working inside, and it's working, Ernie. They've done a great job of recognizing mismatches, a.k.a. barbecue chicken down low, taking advantage. He can't guard that man down there, Ernie. The entry passes have been sharp, and it's led to a lot of points. When you control the paint, you control the game, and they've done that so far. And over to Kenny, what did you think about Golden State? Well, right now, they're getting a little embarrassed on the defensive end. They got outshot in the first half. But that's because no one put their foot down on defense to stop it. So in the second half, they need to play much more disruptive defensively. They have to do whatever it takes. And that'll wrap up our halftime show. The third quarter set to go moments from now. We will be right back here after the game. <laughs> 